Hey friends, this is Megan Johnson. Um, I'm going to quickly go over the Collect app with you and how I use it to um, keep track of our everyday life. You can see here in this picture, I just have um, our April pages that will be in my um, family album at the beginning of the month of April. Just before our events, I just use it to capture all of our everyday events. It's really quick and simple. Um, I want it to be quick and simple, so I actually get it done and keep up with it. Um, if it gets any more complex um, and I have to journal too much or I have to, um, if I have to remember to, um, oh, it, it's just, it makes it so easy to just to make it really fast, which is exactly what I need for a life with four kids. So we are going to open up the Collect app. It's up here in the upper left hand corner. I forgot to turn on my little cursor so I'm just going to have to tell you. Um, when you open it up um, you will find it opens up to a calendar. You can change this view but here's May. May is full and April is full. Um, I do take a lot of pictures. <laughs> some people don't take as many. Some people don't have as filled of a calendar, and that's totally fine. You can do what works for you. There are no rules. So um, the one thing I'm going to show you before we begin, before I go into just how we work, is down here at the bottom you'll see these four little um, icons, the little bag icon. I'm going to press on that. I'm going to show you. I did purchase the Creative Pack and the Keep Safe Pack. So the Keep Safe Pack, um, if I press on this, it'll tell you. It does do an automated backup to iCloud. I've been doing this for four years, and I have to tell you that um, for the, you know, every time I moved phones, I would lose everything on my Collect app, which was always sad to me. I always had them printed and, and you know, exported, but um, now I don't have to worry about that as much. Um, so I did buy purchase that one so it does it does sync to my iCloud so I can sync between devices which is really nice um, the video pack is kind of cool um, you can you can make videos of your pages um, I haven't bought that one yet I haven't felt the need to do that um, but it is kind of neat it kind of like you know the one second um, app where you kind of take a second um, video each day and collect them. It's, it's kind of the same idea. I, I'll, I can maybe show you a video. So this is the one that I really, if you if you want to purchase anything, any upgrade, it would be this creative upgrade pack. So as we go through the app, there are, I do have some additional things because I have purchased this. Um, I can create more than one album. Um, I can export to Dropbox or Flickr. Um, print ready export sizes so you'll see when we go when I go to export I have um, a bleed option so I can add a white border around the whole outside of my picture um, and then I can do a monthly collage of my pictures and then I, I'm not sure what the manual backup process is but um, they call it the creative upgrade but it's honestly just kind of a nice upgrade to the to the app so if you want to purchase anything for this app, if you find yourself using it, this one is a nice thing to buy. So before, I just wanted to show you that just so you know that some of the things that I might, you might see are probably because I've bought the creative pack. So let's go to the home icon. I'm going to show you really quick. So because I can add other albums. So here are my albums that I add. Um, I've added, I have one for Francie. Um, it's funny because I started working on that and I realized that, you know, I didn't really need that because she was, uh, she was always so prevalent in our, in our everyday life album. So it, it was a lot of repeat because I'm home with her all day and I tend to take a lot of pictures. So these are my different albums. Again, I can add more because I have that creative pack and that's just kind of a nice feature. Um, so... Let's see, what else can I show you? Um, up here in the upper right, I can either, so to add photos to each day, I can either press on the five, which is today, 
or I can press on the little icon at the top, the little plus icon. I just always press here on the five and you'll see I can add a photo for my photo library. So I'm just gonna show you this quick so you can see. So the nice, the really, really nice part about the Collect app is it will go through, I can, I can there's a setting and I'll show it to you. Um, and it, it will open up all of the pictures I took from today or if it was March 16th and I had missed a day on March 16th, I could go back and it would, it takes a little bit longer because it kind of has to call through your photos, but it'll go back and find everything you took on March 16th. So screenshots and, and everything. Um, well, today was, <clears throat> let's see. So I'm just going to show you quick. I'm just going to put in a picture. We'll just do one here of upside down Francie. So you can see some people like to crop all of their pictures square. Some people prefer that. You don't have to do that. Um, but you can if you need to, if you like that look. I'll show you how mine looks in the end and you can decide. Um, I, I don't crop for whatever reason. I just don't want to. So um, then down here, I can put a little title. I only have 115 spaces, which I personally really, really like. Um, um, I'm just gonna type in quick before her nap. You can also use voice to text, which I <laughs> use all the time too. So um, I'm going to just now a couple different things here when you're doing this is you can change the date, you can change the album, you can also tag it. So I could tag it and, and I could say Francie and um, and then at the bottom here, if you if you want to and I don't do this for simplicity's sake, if you want to add more, if you want a journal, if you want to, um, you can um, if you want, if you have a lot more to say, you can go down to this notes section and you can write as much as you want. So when I save it here in the upper right, press save. Now in the bottom right, you will see the little flip around card. So this is our flip around. So you can see that if I, had, if I had written any notes, it would appear in this big blank space. Oops. So that's kind of nice that you can do that. Now, if I want to, I can add more pictures for the day. So um, I can open this up again. I don't do this personally. I stick to one picture a day, but I have, I can tell you that I have traveled before and well, obviously I've traveled before, but I've used the Collect app as I've traveled. And it is really, really nice to kind of find your favorite photos and then Use that note side to keep track of everything you did that day, just in a quick refresh. And you can then, um, you can then use it to recall your day. So this is dropping off Jasper at school. He is done tomorrow. They had like a each day today or something. So if you want to, you can add a second. I don't add two, but watch what happens when you add two. You can see um, where I just added the pictures. There's a little two in the corner. That means that there's two photos for that day. Um, and then when you go to print, it gives you the option to print all the photos for that day or just one. Um, so that's just something to be aware of that that is an option for you. So um, again, down here in the, on the four icons, there is the tag icon. So I don't use tags. Again, I keep it simple, but you could go in and you could tag anything you wanted to. And the thing that I'll show you here is what's really nice when, when you go to export, um, you can export just the certain tags that you want to export or you know if I wanted to just print all the Francie paid um, cards I could print those I'm, I'm going to go to the lower right hand here and show you the settings so we have the backup sync you can turn on a reminder to remind you um, 
so right here in the preferences detect photo date that's what I was telling you how it how it will go through and find back date so if I press on um, you know I was telling you before that it will go back in a couple months and find only the pictures you took on that day and I highly recommend you turning that on I just I feel like that really keeps the app that's really one of the best features of the collect app I honestly think if it didn't have that um, if I got behind, I would probably lose my mind because I wouldn't be able to figure out what I took on that day. The other thing, just for preference, is the show dates in calendar. So I'm going to turn that on once and show you what that looks like. Turning it on, let's go back to my calendar. So you can see the day now. You can see over top of the photo, it says the date. I don't personally like that on. I want to see my photo. So I keep that turned off. But that is an option. So um, let's go to, I need to export all of my May photos. So here is May. You can see I don't have any, um, I can kind of scroll through each one. Now, what you're gonna notice is there's a white outline around all of my photos. If, um, even on this, well, no, this one isn't. This, you can see it's not on this one. Now, when it's not on this one either, so, Okay, so it's not on all my photos, <laughs> just on my just on my landscape ones, um, or I'm sorry, my um, yeah, my landscape ones. So you can, when you export, you can export it so there is no white outline. Um, some people like it like that. You can see there's no white outline. Um, I personally like a white outline. So when I export, I'm going to show you here. I'm going to press on this. These are my export. So I'm going to go to export photos. So I have my start date and my end date. Here's my export style. I'm going to click on this. Now again, I think I have some extra options. I can't remember what the original um, app looks like pre-purchase of the creative pack. But so we do have four by six and four by six landscape options. And then there's the three by four. Um, you can do the original cards. You can do photo only. Um, now here is our option. So we have the card design. So I was gonna, so someone had asked if we can change the way it looks. Yes, you can, you can change. So this is the one that I have selected. But um, in the past, I've done different ones depending on the, the year but I try to keep it all the same for the whole year so you can see there are different there are different options um, so here's the include card back um, so that's under options it's like the third one down under options that's the one if you have notes if you want to journal quite a bit you could include the card back so when it exports it will be more than just your daily pictures. Um, so high date and high title. So that if you wanted to export and just have it look more like a Polaroid um, without any writing along the bottom, you can do that. Um, so this is that add print bleed. So this is the print bleed is where I'm gonna get that whole white border all the way around the outside. The, the pictures aren't gonna go flush with the um, with the, out, with the border, it's it's gonna add a white border to the whole outside. So I want that there. I personally like that. So um, you, can, you can choose not to do that. Um, let's go back quick. And before I do that though, I'm gonna show you quick the, the Create Collage. Um, this is kind of a cool option. So you can choose your collage design. Um, this links right up to Letter Glow if you want to do that. If you read, you can see that this is a square, low res, calendar, watermark, you know, you've got all these different options. Normally, I think I go with the cardinal, which gives me the calendar look. Um, and I actually don't, I used to do this. I used to collect or do this a lot more, but I don't do it as much anymore. So we've got our May view collage. Um, so here it is. Here's what it looks like. Um, our everyday life, May 2019, and you get this overview of everything, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't 
I don't ever export it, but I just wanted to show you that. So that is a quick overview of the app. I'm going to export these and I'll come back and show you then how I integrate them into the Project Life app, which actually is really fast. So I will um, do that and I'll be back. Thanks guys.